started, I was 25 with no real clue except wanting to get that paycheck and pay off my wedding. And now I kind of have a direction. My leaders have been supportive and guiding and encouraging. So I was able to figure out, hey, project management's where I want to be. I'm a licensed plumber gas fitter by trade. I came in and worked in the emergency response room back in 2010. And to be here today as a delivery manager is a testament to the business. The benefits for me is that career development, the opportunity to be able to come through a business, be trained, be competent in what you do. Going into the interview process, I kind of didn't really have much hopes because when I first applied for it, I was 34. So as like an older like, like woman with no trade experience, I was like, who's gonna hire me? They don't care about your age or who you are as long as you're hard worker, cool person. Learning development is huge. Um, this, the amount of skills that you can pick up in this company and that they offer for you to learn to increase um, your skills and your ability to work is amazing. Obviously work-life balance. Um, so you do have the capacity to work from home some days and, and work in the office and out in the field. I've been lucky enough to start a family while I've worked at Zinfra and was able to access some parental leave, which really helped me and my partner um, in raising our first child and I've got another one on the way so looking forward to taking advantage of that again. Zinfra has allowed me flexible working hours so I can volunteer for the CFA and I'm a firefighter there so that gives me the opportunity to fly the Zinfra flag and also benefit and serve my community as well. I see a lot more female apprentices coming in and just a lot more opportunity for, for women. We're definitely working towards becoming a very diverse and inclusive um, workplace. I have the opportunity to feel safe coming to work and be my authentic self because I am part of the Alira group. We've got people in regional locations, in remote areas, and also in the cities and CBDs. It's around ensuring that the, the workforce that we have represents the communities in which we operate. In regional locations, you know, we've got teams up in areas like Mount Isa in the Northern Territory. The people that we've employed in those areas truly represent the communities that they operate in. So for example, in some of those areas, we've got a higher rate of Indigenous employees. So working inside a substation, with the power going out to suburbs, shops, houses, it, yeah, you feel like you're making an impact, sharing that to the community. You just feel like you're doing something that helps everyone else. So it feels good. We provide emergency response to people that are impacted by potentially significant gas outages. Um, that opportunity to provide and get the gas reinstated in a timely fashion is very, very important to us. Uh, it's really exciting to be part of the energy, energy industry at the moment. There's a lot of change, a lot of major projects. I think it's the next frontier in Australian industry and Zimfra is a big player. So from a gas transition perspective, and in particular renewable energy and renewable gas, we're, I believe that we're at the forefront of the industry. So it was only recently that we built and commissioned the first hydrogen pipeline in Australia. We've also recently commissioned the first biomethane facility in Australia and now operating and maintaining that facility with our internal employees. There's lots of things that I like. Uh, I work with a really great crew. I work with really great people. Favourite thing? I would say the team, the people. Honestly, I don't see it as work. Being in part of a really good group where they're all supportive and you all get along. You just arrive to work, everyone's uh, welcoming. It's a big family feeling, really. 